Hey everybody, it's Haley with Haley with Flair. Today we are heading to Roma. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe and check me out on social over here. I'm uh, gonna show you a little bit of what it's like flying long haul with some little tips along the way. Uh, so let's get going. So my daughter doesn't actually know, but we upgraded all of our seats to Delta One. She thinks that her and my husband are sitting in what we call cattle class. We fly economy frequently as well. But um, she doesn't know, so we're gonna see if it's a surprise. She turned 13, so it was my husband's gift, so she's been trying to guess what he got her, so let's see. Yeah. Do you want to go back to Cal class? No. <laughs> this is the big guy's surprise for your birthday. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Thank you. So here's a look at the menu for this flight. It was actually a pretty good selection in my opinion. She settled in nicely. Needless to say, since we were heading to Italy, Olivia had a very specific movie that she wanted to watch. Luca, it is one of our favorites. Highly recommend. Hello, Mademoiselle. How are you doing today? Great. And what would you like to drink? Ginger ale. Of course, would you like some ice? What? Ice? Of course. Of course. And I'm going to give you some snacks first because it's Ah uh, yes, a very nice vintage. Olivia loves getting ginger ale or a nice Diet Coke when she is flying. Um, she has certain isms, but she loves it. She enjoyed her meal. She really liked the tomato soup that we had. We always get compliments because she is very good with manners. Trust me, she's not perfect, but she is a good girl and definitely uses her manners. So after mealtime, her and I both get dressed into comfy clothes and take. we took melatonin gummies. Before this flight, Olivia got her ice cream sundae for dessert. We do that little change in between dessert and the meal because they take the main trays out. time to go to sleep. Olivia and I actually managed to get about five hours of sleep on this flight, which was great because I had to do a little work once I got to Rome. Um, let her sleep a little longer. I always do my skincare. If you want to see some of our must-haves for flying long-haul flights, we even use these when we're in an economy. Make sure you check out this other video I just posted. Her and I had breakfast together. We opted for the omelet, which was great. Here's a little bit more of that skincare. And then we got dressed because we were getting ready to land. Now here's a little tip if you are traveling to Fumicino anytime soon, if your child is 14 or older, you can go through the new electronic passport. After that, you go down and meet your rise. Our hotel help us set this up and we stayed at Hotel Damaso, which is one of my favorites. So we made it over to the Grey Line pink bus, hop on, hop off bus in Rome. And I will tell you, if you are traveling here during the summer, it's a great way to cool off because when the bus is moving, the sides are open and just this great airflow, very cooling, so sit up top. I'm a big fan of the hop on, hop off bus. We did this the first time that we came here. We really like the pink bus. It's our favorite. Make sure you check out the link down below to save on hop on, hop off tickets or tours with Grey Line Rome. It's just a great way to see the city. My husband's grandmother really appreciated this when we took her. It might be a little confusing. A lot of people think when they first drive by this, this is the Coliseum, but it is not. This is actually a completely different structure and it's in the neighborhood of the Jewish ghetto. Now we did stumble on this church. We came in this church the first time that we stayed in Rome four years ago. So a little bit of a walk down memory lane on our way to get lunch at one of our favorite places to eat in Rome. It's called Oregano near Campo di Fiori. 
The food here is absolutely incredible. Their carbonara, their cacio e pepe. And let me put you onto something, lemon sorbetto. I was expecting like a sorbet. This thing was delicious and you can get it served with a shot of limoncello if you'd like. It is so creamy and it's so refreshing. After this, Olivia and I headed out to do the Coliseum with tickets from Grey Line Rome. So cool. She had never been in here. I have because I've come for work a few times every year. Um, and then we headed over to the Roma Forum because she hadn't been in here either. Pro tip, that is the best spot to get a photo. And then after that, we headed to Rosholi Ramessa, which is our favorite place to do wine and food pairing. I brought my team here last year and they absolutely loved it. This is the pairing size of Cacio e Pepe. It's huge. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out my tips videos along with the vlogs on my channel. Leave any questions down in the comment section and I'll see you on the next one.